Let's show you how you can combine if statements and data tables to solve a fairly complicated problem. So we have a list of made up antitrust cases and we have the year that they started in court and the year that they ended. And it's 2016, so some of these cases might still be active. So the, this case started in 2011 and was still active. We want to know how many cases were active each year. So first of all, we've got to figure out what the first year in the data set was. So I'll do a min and I think it's going to be 1960. So we need to know for these 200 or so cases for 1960 through 2016, how many cases, okay, were active each year. Okay, now we won't have that formula there to start. Okay, so how many cases were active each year? And we can use an if statement. When is a case active in a year? If the start date of the case was on or before the year we're in, let's try like 19, we'll try 2011. Okay, and we'll name that year. Okay, so if I go anywhere in the spreadsheet and I click year, it goes right there. So when would we know if a particular case was active? If the starting date was on or before 2011 and the end date was on or after 2011, the case would be active. Also, if the start date was on or before 2011 and the end date says still active, then the case, of course, would be still active in 2011 because it went through 2016 and maybe even later. So I can write an if statement that basically puts a one in the active column of the case is active and a zero if it's not. And then we can add up basically here, the total number, we'll get to this, but add up the total number of active cases. Okay. And then we can use a one-way data table looping through each year to figure out the number of active cases in each year. So the key will be this if statement. So this will be if statement and we need two ands statements here. So if the start year is less than or equal to this year, and the end year is greater than or equal to the year of interest, then we are still active. We put a one there. Now also, and if with an and, if the start year is on or before the year we're in, and the end year says still active, then we're, we've put a one there, otherwise a zero. Two right parens to close it. Now that's a pretty complicated formula. Again, if the year we're in is on or before 2011 and the year we end is on or after 2011, we will count that case. If the start year was on or before 2011 and we're still active, we would count that case. And so, let's show you that formula because it's pretty complicated, but that's why we have to know if statements. Okay. So copy that down. Okay, so there's a case 2011 it started was still active. Here's one that went 2011, 2014. Okay, uh, so it was active in, in that year 2011. This one is still active, but this started in 2011, so it was a case in 2011. There's one that started in 2009, ended in 2014, was active in 2011, etc. So now I'd want to add up that column That'll be the output cell for the data table. So now we see 33 of the cases were active in 2011. So now we can set up a one-way data table varying the year. So the year could go 1960 through 2016. And the output cell will go up one row and over one column, if you remember. So I can go up to the top there, then click and go over. So up one row, over one column, the output cell is how many cases. The input cell, these numbers get fed into the year here. So when the 1960 goes in here, I'll get the cases active in 1960, 1961 in there, the cases active in 1961, etc. Okay, so now I select the table range. I go data what if analysis, data table. Okay, now the column input cell is going to be the year. When I first did the video, I made it the number of cases, which was really dumb. Okay, so now I see how many cases were active each year. Okay, and that's really a pretty uh, complicated problem. And so that shows you how combining if statements and data tables can solve a really hard problem. 
Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.